Savitri, page 244. For knowledge comes not to us as a guest, called into our chamber from the outer world, a friend and inmate of our secret self. It hid behind our minds and fell asleep and slowly wakes beneath the blows of life. The mighty demon lies unshaped within. To evoke, to give it form is nature's task. All was a chaos of the true and false. Mind sought amid deep mists of nescience. It looked within itself but saw not God. A material interim diplomacy denied the truth that transient truths might live and hid the deity in creed and guess that the world ignorance might grow slowly wise. This was the imbraglio made by sovereign mind looking from a gleam rich into the night. In her first tamperings with inconscience, its alien dusk baffles her luminous eyes. Her rapid hands must learn a cautious zeal. Only a slow advance the earth can bear. Yet was her strength, unlike the unseeing earth's, compelled to handle makeshift instruments, invented by the life force and the flesh. Earth all perceives through doubtful images, all she conceives in hazardous zets of sight, small lights kindled by touches of groping thought, incapable of the soul's direct inlook. She sees by spasms and solders knowledge scrap, make truth the slave girl of her indigence, expelling nature's mystic unity cuts into quantum and masks the moving all. She takes for measuring rod her ignorance. In her own domain, a pontiff and a seer, that greater power with her half-risen sun, wrought within limits but possessed her field. She knew by a privilege of thinking force and claimed an infant sovereignty of sight.